Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The prosecution in the Klansman Wandon gang trial says the court may have to use its powers to compel telecoms company Digicel to provide call data records. The prosecutor notified the presiding judge, Chief Justice Brian Sykes, of this possibility after disclosing today that the police cybercrimes unit has received the records from Flo Jamaica, but not from Digicel. The Transport Ministry has contradicted its Acting Permanent Secretary Dr. Janine Dawkins in trying to reject a Gleaner report that Head of the Toll Authority Leron Leng did not meet the minimum requirements for the job when he was appointed in April. The Permanent Secretary told the Gleaner that a person with a master's degree needed at least 10 years' experience, but the Ministry on Monday said the minimum qualification was just a master's degree. The Ministry said Mr. Leng had three years' experience when he applied for the job. The Department of Correctional Services is reporting that three wards of the state absconded from the Metcalf Street Secure Juvenile Remand Center on Monday. A years-long dispute between two women over a shared partner ended fatally last weekend after 31-year-old nail tech Kayan Boyd, otherwise called Pretty KK, was stamped to death. The other woman, 42-year-old Tamara Lewis, also known as Tam Tam, was later arrested and charged by the police for the attack on the woman. In sports, football administrators Carvel Stewart and Herman Cruikshank says that the Jamaica Football Federation is taking too long to act on the recommendation of its technical committee to fire national senior men's team head coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.88, the British pound sterling for $205.55, and the Canadian dollar for $124.17. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy conditions with possible showers across hilly areas and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.